So, hello and welcome you back to Pandemonium. Now we're entering the Sky Fortress levels. They are um, a bit of a doozy. And uh, in this stage, following the only walkthrough that exists, I've actually spent a lot of time... Um, I've actually wasted a lot of time searching for, uh, um, uh, for a power-up. It's actually not here, it's actually like three, uh, like three stages ahead. Oh, it just looks like this? No, it's just that the walkthrough is wrong. It's, it's, uh, it just mixed up the uh, stage name and the stage number. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a bit, un that's a bit unfortunate, really. And these... Uh, you should leave them a negative review on Game Facts. Yeah, a negative review for this this game from 20 years ago, and the, <laughs> the guy was also probably done like 20 years ago as well. Yeah, he's like got kids mm -hmm. now. Anyway, but yeah, the, the blimp sharks are the worst because they usually will come from above. And you can only destroy them by uh, jumping on top Jump of them, on. as you would expect. Uh, you can probably attack them with Fargus, but I, at this point I never thought of doing that anymore because... Oh, this like, is like a wipeout obstacle. Yeah, but like, I never thought of doing that simply because, you know, you use Fargus so little. Yeah, and also, like, switching to it just to defeat one enemy and then switching back is like... <laughs> Uh, well, not, not a big problem, because it happens pretty much instantaneously, the whole switch. Uh, hmm. But the problem is, I I will be thrown, like, way off my, tr way off my track, right at the... Uh, w where I am right now. Um, and likely get myself killed anyway, you know? Sure. Um... And now we have I feel like you missed up. a secret up there. Whatever. Don't. Are you telling me this isn't a completionist run of uh, Pandemonium? It actually is. But I'm not... pretty sure. Well, I guess, yeah, because 100%ing this game just involves. <laughs> basically nothing. Uh, no, actually, I am going to be. Uh, I am going to be 100%ing one certain factor. Uh, and that is collecting all of the heart pieces that are available in this game. Hmm. Uh, because I don't care for 100% treasure collection, uh, it's very tedious. It's very tedious to do that, and also, uh, like, you have to be absolutely perfect in order to do this. Because yeah, because uh, there's a lot of one chance only jumps. Exactly, and I I also believe that uh, the moment you die and like uh, restart from a checkpoint it actually does not ca account for uh, the stuff that you have collected beforehand although i may be mistaken I'm that's really sure. really cheap those rockets coming that way yeah a lot of a lot of stuff just comes uh, out of nowhere but yeah you now, tell, that we have the, that, now that we have the dragon uh, we have the dragon. The uh, blimp sharks are not no longer that big of an issue. We can do. We can get rid of these rockets by uh, uh, smash, uh, like you know, smashing into them. Well, no, uh, breathing, breathing fire, fire on them. But it's yeah. very difficult to actually aim that because there is a bit of a delay uh, between you firing and you know hitting it. Now we're going. We're ascending to to the sky. Oh. Just a bit of a, a little bit more coins. There's probably a completely different way which doesn't even involve uh, using the dragon. Uh, maybe if I actually went through what you what you said was that secret. Yeah. Because. The... Fuck you. Nice. Game. Well, you shouldn't you shouldn't be uh, so uh, slow to react, Nico. It's all your fault. Yeah. If like, you're... I... I had a whole, uh, I had a whole five centimeters of the screen. Yeah. You know, I was actually thinking of. Uh, Back in my day, we had two centimeters, and we liked it. No. We thought that was good. No, <laughs> you, you didn't. You're not that old. Hey, I can be as old as I want. 
You can be as old as you my feel. Mo right. My mom always told me I could be anything I want, and I want to be 105 right now. So you, you're, you're like that girl from uh, Howl's Moving, uh, Moving Castle? You're as old yes. as you feel like you are? Yeah, exactly. Just... Just try um, riding the balloon into the skies. I do, I do like how they use the the parallax. Effect. Yeah, yeah, it it, actually, it does make you kind of feel like you're up high. Yeah, it, and it, they chose it, a good it, landscape um, that really looks like. I mean, I can totally see looking out, you know, a plane window and seeing this, you know. Mhm. Mm yeah, even though it's it's uh, it's like very, uh, it's still very fantastic in how uh, just how colorful everything is. Those. Uh, mm -hmm. Sure. But. It, it, it is, and I have no I thought, idea how yeah. to jump that high. I, I thought you were about to just jump off into the, and do some skydiving. Yeah, like, like do the whole nights thing where you just jump, uh, jump and start twirling, and then start yeah. doing loop de loops in the air. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah, here we have another level. It's kind of similar. It mostly has a similar background, but there is another element to the. Uh, the stage design, and that is those whirlwinds, uh, and also that ev most of everything is now made of ice. Um, and now there are those rainbow bubbles. That's uh, neat. If we, I like the rainbow bubbles. The rainbow bubbles also made, uh, make a really cute sound. Oh yeah. But yeah, if you uh, if you happen to. F uh, fall into one of those uh, whirlwinds, that, or rather hurricanes, or, well, wind streams. Um, they'll push you back to a certain place, uh, but it's never actually too uh, evil in, in, the, in the regard of where it actually puts you. Uh, there are, like, you know, blocks and checkpoints, so to say. So it It's not gonna blow you back halfway through the, the stage. It's, no, no, it's not gonna do that. Like you will have to retract some uh, something, but uh, uh, yeah, no, it's not. It's not that mean. Like, see, there is a block, and it would uh, like if I mess up right here, it will put me back uh, right uh, this like a feet, uh, uh, you know, right uh, right at the at the start of this section. Mm -hmm. And none of it's so hard that you're gonna get stuck on it for a long period of time. So yeah. Oh uh, well. It's, it's not gonna get that hard quite yet. I meant in this level. Uh, well, this level, let me see. Um, I think it's, uh, it's, uh, it's this. This level actually has one of the most aggravating. Um, uh, what? That hurts you? It does hurt you sometimes. Uh, see. Um, this tornado is actually both an enemy and a platforming hazard. Uh, if you jump at just the right moment, you are actually not going to get hit by it. Uh, you're not going to get hit by it, and uh, you will advance to the next platform. I dislike that. Um, I believe you can actually minimize the uh, danger that it po po uh, po uh, po uh, poses. Poses. Yeah, yeah. Um, by uh, minimizing it literally, because there is a minimize. Um, uh, Does it still up. throw you up then? I believe so. Yes, because uh, the minimized enemies actually c uh, still have all of their properties for the most part. Like you can jump on top of them, and uh, they will still move. Unlike when they're frozen. I was gonna ask when they're frozen. When could you freeze it and it would still push you up, but it just wouldn't move? No. It just, uh, it, well, it just doesn't move, and it gets, uh, it just gets destroyed when I touch it. That's what happens when you freeze it. But yeah, now we have to use. The... Can you fireball it to death? Yes, as well. Weird. Actually, that kind of makes sense, I guess, because if uh, you have an airflow, mm -hmm. um... you have to time it just right for the uh, to get the most out of the tornado, and also keep mm. holding the jump button. Because that gives you more height. <laughs> you gonna die again, Nico? As if I don't have enough reasons to hate these uh, bugs. 
All right, there we go. All right, because we need. Thankfully, we can completely avoid that cannon section. <laughs> yeah, you didn't even land where it could have sniped you from off screen. And here is one of the uh, one of the meanest uh, things in this game. Uh, I don't mean this particular uh, this particular thing. I mean this entire uh, the entire section that leads after it. It's oh, not okay. even that the section itself is hard. Uh, it's that it makes uh, if you make a mistake, you have to repeat a lot of the stage. Like, so it's when, not when like what we were talking about earlier. It's not like with the previous part of the stage because it's uh, like what. Um, most of what happens here is uh, you get a lot of verticality, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but not too much horizontality, so most of it is climbing. And uh, admittedly, uh, if you jump off at, the, uh, at just the right moment, you can actually skip some of the sections. But there are some things in this uh, in this stage which just makes uh, which just make it very very annoying. Like for example, here uh, you can actually just jump down, avoid most of the hazards, and uh, uh, get straight to the. Uh, because uh, in those places where there are those uh, mines flying around the circle, um, mm -hmm. there are tornadoes, uh, like uh, or rather wind streams, right underneath them, and you can actually fast travel to them. I have no idea whether there are several of them because you only really need one. And here I cut out. A whole bunch of I see what you're deaths. talking about because and also like if you fall here you go back to an earlier point this like a significantly earlier point in the yeah yeah you you get to a very very far away portion uh, not like the whole thing is very long but like one mistake and I would have I would have liked it if there were and like you do have to collect something because there would have been ice blo an ice block over there. Probably it looks like a place for an ice block. Hmm. So yeah. And here is Ifrit Pal Palace. Uh, yeah, Ifrit Palace. Um, this is the stage that contains that actually contains the last uh, heart container because the what the. Uh. Uh, because what the um, instru uh, what the guide stated was, oh, you you actually do not get hurt by the enemies flying around in this tornado. <laughs> um, They're just there for comedic effect. Exactly. Um, uh, <laughs> what uh, what the guide stated was, uh, you find the, you find the last one in the stage fourteen, Ifrit's palace. Mm. Uh, except that Ifrit's Ifrit's palace is uh, stage uh, 16. Are you sure there wasn't like a different version which had less stages or something? Uh, I am definitely certain that there is a uh, version that had less and that was the N-Gage version of the game. Uh, that's the version that I actually played first. Um, but, but that's not what the guide was for? Definitely not because the N-Gage version did not exist back when that guide was made and the guide was specifically made for the uh, for the PS1 slash Saturn version or PC as well I mean all, all of those versions are identical oh this is like a Psychonauts area a bit like yes um, you have to find several keys along the way and each key will unlock uh, another key and uh, until you uh, until you finally open uh, all, uh, the hatch. Hmm. Yeah. Very psycho Nazi. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> um. Uh, I do. I, I do like the enemies in the background, especially since yes. they don't hurt me. Yeah. If they hurt you, it'd just be another annoying thing that came suddenly from off screen. Yeah. And uh, but... this is actually like fairly controllable. Um, like, yeah, sure, I do get pushed back a lot, but uh, you can actually plan things uh, plan things ahead of time and you can, uh, you know, uh, slow yourself down the a bunch. situation uh, accordingly. Yeah. And here... Oh, no, no, not yet. Actually, not yet. But yeah. Fuck you. This, uh... uh... 
staircase in the sky was making me think of the Pokemon 2000 movie with Entei. Yes. But anyway. Actually, kind of the art in this kind of reminds me of that, too. Uh, weird, because it's, uh, you know, a bit uh, way before. I well, guess, I, I'm, I guess no, I wasn't even kind of claiming that it yeah, was inspired. But, uh, but I do get the whole ice uh, ice thing. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that and def the, definitely is uh, reminiscent. The palace and uh, you also just have weird floating structures in the sky, which is a common thing in video games, but still. Mm -hmm. Especially in platformers. Yeah, so when you're invulnerable, you can't go up those? You can, I was just uh, having a hard time. And that shirt it's still a... wants to get me. <laughs> I'm actually very surprised that they bothered to render everything uh, that was in that direction. <laughs> you know, they, they spent good money on those uh, assets and they're gonna get the Is max out it? of them. All right, and I'm back. No, you're not. You were actually murdered by your doppelganger, and replaced again. But yeah, this is uh, this is, is actually. Is this supposed to be water? No, this is actually uh, all of the wind streams. Because it looks I... like it's going down. No, it's 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 going. Yeah, going one on the towards. only the one on the side here looks like it's going up. But yeah, here is where the um, like see this is the uh, the uh, ending of the stage and you can see the dark cloud and the horizon which is the worst stage in the game and here there is a stream that you can use in order to shoot yourself very very high or like this and the, the right there you can see the um, the last heart container mm. and you just sort of have to do it until you get it and here yeah. you have all of the hearts that are in the game Hurrah! The dark so the dark, the horizon. The dark cloud. That nothing is coming for you. Hmm. Those are those are a premonition of the worst stages in this game.